And today we have a cardio and abs workout. Every exercise will be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. During those 15 seconds, I'll tell you exactly what the next movement is. So remember to go at your own pace and to have fun and to focus on form above all else, even speed, even though it's cardio. So let's get warmed up and get into the workout. Okay, Roar. All right guys, let's start it out by bouncing it out nice and easy. And then start to get those arms involved as if you had a jump rope. So I'm warming up those arms, shoulders, legs, everything. Keep your core nice and strong. Let's go for three, two, one, and butt kickers. So bring those knees in front slightly so you can really concentrate on kicking that booty in back. That booty. Nice job, guys. Three, two, one, and arms out, feet out. We're gonna kick across that body. Really think about exhaling as you kick across. Now it's only gonna be 10 minutes of cardio and then the rest is going to be abs. So in that cardio, I really want you guys to give it your all because just remember, we'll just be, you know, burning out our core after. Let's go two more. Last one. And feet up wide, we're gonna sink down side to side. Warming up those hips, those legs with some nice movement mobility. Three, two, one, and go ahead, bounce it out. Let's stick with some high knees. So, drive it up in front. Really think about keeping, again, that core strong. So that way we warm up the core while we get that heart rate up and those legs warm as well. Four, three, two, one, and go ahead, shaky, shaky. We're gonna walk on down into a plank position. All right, from here, press into down dog. Bring it back into plank and drive a knee in. Press into down dog and bring it back. So really think about keeping your hands where they are. You just wanna press palms, fingertips into the ground, shifting those hips up. We're getting shoulders here, core, legs, Oh, that fun stuff. One more on each. Last one. And go ahead and press back. Legs clean out those knees so we get those calves because we will be bouncing, baby. Remember, you can modify. I do give modifications. So if that's for you, listen to your body. Three, two, one. And come on down into a tabletop position. Knees under those hips, hands under the shoulders. We're going to keep those arms straight, rock it forward and back. So we're getting those wrists because we will be doing movements like burpees today. So we want to make sure those are nice and ready, avoiding any unneeded pain. So one more rock and flip it around and from here lean back. Now try to keep your arms straight. I see a lot of time people tend to go like this. Try to keep arms straight as you can as if you want to show me if you had tattoos as well. <laughs> Let me see them. Let me see your tattoos. You should feel us all right here. And go ahead, bring it back. A few wrist circles here. All the way around. And all the way back. Nice job, guys. Three, two, one. And let's come into a standing position. Bounce it out and then get into some jumping jacks. Touching the hands on the top. Bringing out those feet. Big motions here. Not big emotions, big motions. <laughs> Keep going. Three, two, one, and regular squats. So really think about keeping your chest up high. Keep your back flat and think about pushing your butt back. So you want to hinge from the hips, sink down as if you're going to sit into a chair. So make sure you're not shooting your knees forward or placing that weight midfoot to heel. <sighs> Try to get to at least 90 degrees with those legs. Let's go two more. Last one. We're almost done warming up, guys. So go ahead, stabilize on your left leg. Bring your right leg out and around. So we're opening up those hips. Getting them ready, making it safe 
for the body. Let's go two more. Last one, and switch. All the way around. We got one move after this, and we'll get started in that workout. Let's go two more. Last one. All right, guys, skaters, finish it out. Side to side. You can tap the ground, and you can walk it out if you need to. But if you can, you're going to try to hop it. I woke up today, and I was like, what sounds fun? Cardio and abs. Crazy girl. <laughs> I chose this life. <laughs> Keep rocking it. Let's go two more. Last one. And shaky, shaky. All right, guys, let's get started. 15 seconds. We're going to start off on one side. We're going to go with a side jump with your feet close together, and then we're going to go squat touchdown, squat touchdown. So you jump your feet out, make sure you keep your chest up high, and you can walk it out if you need to. All right, let's go. So side jump, one and two. Side jump. It's really important to work lateral movements because in our daily lives, we're not just moving forward and back. So you want to make sure we work all the movements. Plus it's more fun, right? <laughs> Keep it up, guys. All the way to the side. Keep that chest up. It's really easy to bring it all the way down. Almost there. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, next up. Burpee with two punches. So we're gonna come down. You can do chest floor, but you don't have to. If you can, you can. You can always come to the tippy toes and add those punches instead. All right, let's go. So modification, step, step, come up, punch, punch. Whatever you got, that's what we're gonna do. Keep it up, guys. Even if you modify every other one, that's cool. Keep it going. And pop, pop. Stay strong, guys. Pop, pop. Woo. We love cardio. <laughs> and done. All right, so. Next up is 10 high knees and a skater. <sighs> Stability while we get our heart rate up. So it's gonna be 10 high knees and then one skater. I just realized I'm like, cat, you didn't demo. <laughs> Sorry about that. Stability. Nice job, guys. Before you know it, we'll be on to abs. Keep driving it up. Five, four, three, two. All right, so next up, we're going to go ahead, four switch feet. So, one, two. And then you're gonna go one, two, three, and four. Whew, let's go. Walk out those lunges if you need to. Three, four. Either way, just like a squat, keep your chest up and keep your back flat. And make sure when you do those switch lunges that you're not shooting your knee forward. Sink down midfoot to heel on that front leg. Yes. Two. Hello legs. I heard you wanted to burn today. Oh, you're right, cat. Wow. All right, guys, next up. We're gonna go with four jump rope, 
So just like in the beginning, I'm gonna try to skip it. You can bounce into place, and then one double under. You really drive your knees up. And then you twirl your arms twice as much. All right, so one, two, three, four, Two, three, four. If you want to, you can make it two double unders. If you want to get a, more of a challenge, you can take the double under out. If it's too much impact, two, three, four. Keep it up, guys. Two, three, four. Ready? Over halfway with cardio. So I want you guys to give it your all. Okay. Four frog hops, four steel jacks. Just a little bit of animal work. Toes facing out for the frog hops, chest up. Keep pushing your butt back. You have four frog hops. After that, four steel jacks. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four. Keep it going, guys. Toes out, chest up, back flat. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Keep rocking it. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Woo. I'm just turning to get different angles. You know who's telling me to. and a plank tap. But if you're with me, you got four grasshoppers. You're gonna tuck your arm, side roll, and come up. All right, let's go. Remember, this is a video. So, if you can't get it down right away, rewind it. Be gentle with your body. Make sure you roll softly into it. It's not a rushed movement, but it is really fun. <laughs> Once you get it down, Protect your shoulders, protect your body, and roll. Nice job, guys. Press. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Oh. All right. Eight butt kicks, snap kick. So, butt kicks, like in the warm up, then you're gonna drive one knee up the other one kicks. If you can't get that down, knee up and kick, okay? Just take out the jump. done with that, you're going to do two squat jumps, two burpees. We're going to get as far as we can. <laughs> I didn't want to prep you for this too much. Woo! And up. Now it's two squat jumps. One, two, two burpees. If I told you too much about it at the beginning, you might have stopped. <laughs> Keep it up, guys. Remember to go at your own pace. Rocking it, guys. Remember when that timer goes off, we're gonna keep going. Two full rounds. Try to keep count. Keep going. 
if you can't quite remember, make it up. <laughs> There's no time. <laughs> Alright, let's go. One, two, three, four. Keep it up, guys. 45 seconds. Woo. And then we're done with this one. Then we're done with cardio. Just a little burnout at the end for you. So you're not in a straight body line. You can cross your legs and we're going to pop it up. Let's go. If that's too much, go ahead and bring up one knee. Okay, you're going to feel this at the top right here. So you don't have to cross your legs, but I find that it doesn't bring in my hip flexors at all when I cross. Exhale up, inhale down, use that breath. We got 20 seconds. Oh my goodness. It is. I think it's just humid today. <laughs> so I'm like, it's pretty nice outside, but I feel so slimes. Four, three, two. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go right to the other side. One side might be more challenging, so if you need to modify on this one, don't be too alarmed. Don't be alarmed. <laughs> that sounds funny. Do not be alarmed. Okay, get ready guys. Use your breath. Exhale up, inhale down. That's it. Now, if you've worked out with me before, you know that I've mentioned how I try to work my core almost every single day, five to 15 minutes at least. Some days I skip, yeah, but that's okay. But most days, and ever since then, I have found that all of my movements are much stronger. My posture is better. I feel better. And I, I, aesthetically, I gotta say, it has definitely helped. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we're gonna flip over into a plank. Hands are gonna be right under the shoulders. And from here, you're gonna drive the knee in, kick back, and then plant it. So make sure you don't plant it right away. You wanna get that kick back. That's just extending that core, making it work all that much more on one less limb. Keep it up, guys. Drive in, kick back. 30 seconds. Yay! Who is excited? <laughs> Keep your hands under your shoulders. It's really easy to travel back. But I want to make sure that we're not doing that. Woo! Ten. That core. I love it. Five, four, three, two, one. Now you can see why we warmed up those wrists 
at the beginning. Go ahead, come down onto the forearms. Legs are gonna be up straight to start out. We're gonna bring it over into a rainbow. Rainbow and rainbow. If that's too much, bend those knees. But if you can, you're gonna try to keep those legs as straight as you can. Use your breath. Make sure you're breathing in this. 30 seconds. You guys are doing great. Oh my goodness. We're already halfway with abs. So keep going. Remember, if you want more, you can always repeat everything or you can repeat just the cardio or just the abs. It is your workout. 10 seconds. Oh, baby. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, so next up, we're gonna go ahead and support our lower backs, possibly get some back farts into there. <laughs> Legs are gonna be straight, pop up, control it on the way down, open the feet. That's it. You can take away the feet opening if you want. Another option is to bend those knees to make it easier as well, okay? So you can just stick with that. Nice and controlled. 30 seconds. Really focusing on getting rid of that space in between your lower back and the floor. Because that makes us press our core down to the ground and that makes us work that instead of using those hip flexors. And we don't want to do that. 10 seconds. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I feel it. Just a lot of it. <laughs> three, two, one. Okay. All right, so next up we have three moves, guys. It's nothing. It's nothing. All right, so feet out. And you're gonna reach for the inner part. Penguin, small crunch, penguin. And you're gonna keep cycling through that sandwich of a, of a move. <laughs> okay, so penguin, crunch up, penguin. Now make it, make sure you're not making this like super jerky. Try to flow with it. Get rid of that space again when you crunch up. If your neck starts to get involved, try to relax it by putting the tongue on the roof of your mouth. It's a really weird trick, but it works for some people. But all the, other than that, tuck your chin in your chest. Keep going, guys. Ooh, that core. <laughs> it loves it. Phew. Up. Oh my goodness. All right. Next up we have two more movements. So upper body mountain climber with a spider. But we're going to do that spider in the forearm plank. So start out into a plank. Keep your hips as straight as you can as you come down. Drive your knee to the outside. Outside. Come back up. Okay. So again, when you're doing that upper body mountain climber, try to keep your hips from swiveling side to side. You can separate your feet wider for more stability. Keep it up, guys. Ooh, 25 seconds. Ooh, oh my goodness. 15. Oh yeah, it burns. 10 seconds. <laughs> oh yeah. Three, two, one. Okay, last movement, guys. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna get those lower abs now. So legs are gonna be at 90. Try to keep them at 90. You can support your lower back. Pop straight up, small movements. Pop, pop. That's it. Little pops, again, concentrating on keeping your back as flat to the ground as possible. By not supporting your lower back, it makes it a little bit more challenging. So if you got a little bit more, try that out. Oof, oof, keep going guys. We're almost there. Really push through, just think how um, it's another feeling. This burn is just another feeling that we have. So you can push through it. A lot of it is mental. 10 seconds. Almost there, we got five, four, three, two, 
and done. Wait, I know how to make this quiet. It's gonna be one more time. All right, guys, so thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. We are going to stretch it out, so try to stay with me on this one. Uh, but if you do need to go, please do like the video before you go. Share it with your friends, family on Facebook, Twitter, etc. And also, please leave a comment. All of those things really help my channel out a lot. So, okay, let's start out right here, actually. Have your left foot in front, right foot in back. Get the hairs off of you. And then we're going to go ahead, go to the left side and add some movement. So we're taking advantage of how our body is nice and warm and we're getting some mobility in here. Go ahead and take your right hand, bring it to the left knee, left hand back, inhale, grow tall in the spine, exhale, twist. Breathe. Really, really good spinal twist. Slowly release, nice job. Let's go ahead and switch sides. One side might be tighter, this one is for me. And just listen to your body. Move side to side. Whatever feels good for you. Bends. This is your time to explore how your body's feeling. And then let's go ahead and come back to center. Left hand to the right knee, right hand and back. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist. Keep breathing. And then slowly bring it back to center. Let's go ahead, have our hands to one side. And big toes together, knees out wide, sit back. A little hip opener. Feel free to add some side to side movement here. I've noticed that ever since I started really working on opening up my hips that I unlocked a lot of new movements that I couldn't do before, either without pain or at all. So it's really important to take the time to take care of your bodies in all the ways, not just you know, beating it up with cardio, not just crushing it with abs, but also taking the time for this mobility. All right, knees together. We're gonna go ahead and get another spine thing, spine thing going. All right, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, cat cow. So go ahead, exhale, tuck the chin, the chest around the back, press into the ground. And then inhale, bring it on through. Did I say inhale the other one? Sorry. <laughs> Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, bring it through. I always think of this as booty poppy. I don't know why any other, any yoga teacher has never said that, <laughs> that I've seen. Exhale. <laughs> Inhale, we're gonna go one more then. Exhale. It's probably because like, you know, yoga's supposed to be super spiritual. I'm over here like, let's go booty popping. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Go side to side. I think we need to add some fun to it too. All right. Whew. Let's go ahead, sit back. We're going to take that right leg, bring it in front, press forward, getting that hip flexor and back. Breathe. Stand tall. If you want to add a little bit more, if you feel stable, you're going to take your left hand, bring it to the outside of the right knee, and then twist. Look over that right shoulder. And let's go ahead, bring it back. Sandwich that foot, walk it back onto that heel. If you have a little bit more, if your body allows, feel free to sit back. But remember, it's again, listen to your body. Every day is different. Remember, it's no use in beating ourselves up to be like, well, I, was, I felt better yesterday. It's like, well, maybe your body's a little bit tired today. Maybe you needed more sleep. Maybe you needed more water or more food or anything like that. So it's really important to take those cues from our bodies that are telling us like, yeah, I need a little attention here and go ahead, switch. It might have been maybe you skipped the cool down on your last workout and it feels a little bit tighter. Just listen, your body again, it knows what it needs. So it's just trying to tell you in different ways, which is really cool to be honest. It's like when, you, when you're talking to your cat, you're like, yeah, okay, I know. And then inside you're like, I don't really know, but I know you're trying to say something. <laughs> All right, hands um, sandwiching that foot. Go ahead, bring it back, sit back if you can. Again, every side's a little bit different, so if this side is a little bit tighter for you, don't worry about it. Just it means your body's telling you it needs a little bit more love on this side. Go ahead, bring it back. Feet together. 
and relax that neck. Feel free to add some side to side movement here. Grab opposite side elbows, relax that neck, spin through and up. Stop center, drop the arms, slowly roll it up. One vertebrae at a time. Roll up the shoulders. Oh my gosh, you can't see me. This is so awkward. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna come back down. <laughs> all right guys, so you guys can still be standing. We're gonna just do one more stretch, the most important stretch of them all. Pass the hands in front, pull the shoulders in, big inhale up. And exhale, oh, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. We are done for today, yay! We did it, you guys did it. We completed our crazy awesome cardio and abs workout for the day. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to take care of yourselves and with me. That's really, it's really, 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 really nice, you guys. Um, if you could, please take the time to like the video before you go and also leave a comment. I'll give you a second. <laughs> but as you do that, um, both of those things really help out my channel. It helps to um, show YouTube that you know you guys are liking this. There's more activity on my on my videos, and then they'll show it to more people, so more people can see it and kick booty too. So thank you guys so much. If you do want to support my channel even more, I do have a link down in my description. It says support my channel with an arrow and a link. Anything and everything really helps. I write the workouts, do the workouts, edit. I do all this stuff. So. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Have an amazing rest of the day. Do all things. Take care of your bodies in all the ways. So remember to take that time to stretch it out. If, if your body is telling you, if during the stretch it was telling you like, oh, take the time for it. I promise you, you will not regret it. So, okay. See you guys soon. Roar.